I just got a very interesting proposition over here, see? How now, come all your socks have holes in them, in the back? I don't know. Maybe I got sharp heels. <laughs> now, listen. Maybe just... you got short shoes. <coughs> Maybe you're a dingbat. <laughs> Now, listen, Maybe just... you got long feet. <laughs> Maybe you want to stifle yourself, huh? Sure, go ahead. Listen to me. We are lucky enough to be in on the ground floor of the precipice of a great opportunity. <laughs> this is a thing that could make us so rich that I might only have to wear a pair of socks once. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or maybe no socks at all. Uh -huh. You wouldn't want to be that rich. Why the hell wouldn't I? You might catch a cold. Eat it. Listen. Right in the eye. Right in the eye. You're always doing that to me, right? You nearly put the eye out of my head here. No, no, no. Don't go nowhere near it. Wait a minute. Sit down. Sit down. Listen. I just got a proposition from my brother here, see? Your brother, Fred? No, my brother, Rizabel. <laughs> Certainly, Fred. Isabel. Eat it right now, Isabel. Now, will you listen to me? For $5,000, Fred can put us into this here syndicate, see, that's going to invest in a nationwide chain of cafeterias. It's going to flood the country with Chinese food. They're going to be called the Fu Yu Chinaterias. How does that work, huh? Nothing but cheap food there. <laughs> Now, I think we ought to take $5,000 worth of that. Oh, Archie, you and me couldn't eat that much Chinese. <laughs> hold it, hold it. I ain't talking about you and me eating, and I'm talking about investing in a nationwide chain of all-American chinkateries. <laughs> Why would you want to do that? Don't you know nothing? Don't you read the papers? Don't you know that the Democrats just recognized China? Yeah. Well, well the results of that is there's going to be a hell of a run in this country on chow mein and mugu goi pan. $5,000? Oh, that's a lot of money. What do you got against Fred? Your brother, Fred? No, my sister, Isabel. <laughs> you ain't got a sister, Isabel. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I ain't got nothing against your brother, Fred. I love him. And I love your sister, Isabel, too, if you had one. You know, I'm so You had a sister, and her name was Isabel. That's such a nice name. Are you finished now? Yeah. Then do me a favor, will you please? Since you ain't got no sister-in-law to love, try loving your brother-in-law, huh? Oh, I do. Ooh, I ain't the one that knocked his tooth out at our wedding and then didn't talk to him for 29 uh, years. We all know who that. I don't have to mention uh, no names. I just have to look at the party uh, and whistle. <laughs> you know, that is the stupidest thing I ever heard. <laughs> now, come on, Edith. I think we ought to get in on the ground floor of this thing. Make this investment. Let our money work for us. Well... Well, uh, before you knock the other eye out, <laughs> what do you say? Huh? I don't know. Swell, that's all I've been waiting to hear. What's <laughs> she? You ain't even following your own advice. Your advice? What the hell advice is that? Never do business with relatives. I meant your relatives, not mine. <laughs>